the harvest fair she'll be surely there so I'll dress in my Sunday clothes with my shoes shine bright and my hat just right when the heart of the nut brown rose no pipe I'll smoke no horse I'll yoke and my plow will rust and brown to smiling bright by my own fireside since the star of the county down come from Bantry Bay up to Derry Cay and from Galway to Dublin town no maid I've seen like the sweet Colleen that I met in the county down and from down no maid i've seen like, like the sweet colleen that i met in the county down Welcome to a very wet Cannon Maguire Park here in Derogonley this evening for this top of the table clash, Division 1 clash between Derogonley Harps and Belnalek. Uh, I'm joined here, my name's Morris McLaughlin, I'm joined here by Niall McElroy. Uh, the rain has eased off a wee bit here, Niall, but um, it'll be slippy underfoot. Definitely, Morris, yeah, the, the pitch looks in good condition given all the rain we've, been, we've had over the last couple of days. So hopefully now if the rain gets stopped for the, for the game we can have a, a good encounter here tonight between the two top teams um, in Division 1 at the moment. Derek Onley on top of the table with uh, 12 points and Banalek in second place with 11. So if we can get a winner tonight, they'll be uh, at the top of the table, get into the, the rest of the games on, on Friday night. Well, you would imagine uh, Derek Onley, after watching them defeat Balik last Friday night, um, you know, if they've got a victory here at home the night, they'd definitely have one foot in the league final. Definitely, yeah. They've been very consistent uh, since the start of the season, really. Only one... Um, defeat, um, which was actually against Benelec in, in the club players league. They've 
won their five out of five games so far in the league, so definitely they've been very consistent. But Van Leck have been equally as consistent as well, and they've uh, defeated Derek Onley actually in the Club Players League early on in the year, which was actually this, you know, I think it was this group's actually first victory over Derek Onley, um, which, which has been a, a boost for them. So if they could come down here tonight and get a, another victory over Derek Onley in, in, uh, in Derek Onley, it would be a, a big statement for them. Absolutely, and, and Van Leck will be looking to the, the, their big players, you know, the, the Cullens and. and uh, Macaulay at midfield uh, and uh, Garrett Cavn G Garvin Quigley and Garrett Cavanagh and, and just looking the way they're lined out I see you know Lee Cullen 13 Cain Connor 14 Garrett Cavanagh 15 I suppose this would probably signify <laughs> you know a lot of these guys aren't from full forward merchants so they'll be pulling back it, it looks that way um, we could have a, a good um, defensive battle perhaps on our, on our hands here tonight um, I suppose it's a case of, of staying in the game as much as you can when you come down to Derrick Only. it's a tough place to come they're very consistent down here so Ben Leck will definitely look to stay in the game early on and see, see how it's going uh, yeah. Sorry, Niall. The one thing that impressed me about Derek Onley, particularly in the second half last week, was the way they put the squeeze on Balik in the second half. The way they pushed up on the kickouts, really hunted in packs, the two and three men closing down the kickouts. Balik were penned in, couldn't get out for about ten minutes. Really put the squeeze on them, and you know, but for a fortunate goal that kept Balik in the game in in, in the second half, probably would have been a greater margin of victory. Yeah, and Derek is a very experienced and powerful team and when they decide to do that and push up on teams they make it very difficult and no, no doubt at stages tonight we'll see that again they've you know, a, a very strong line out here um, a lot of consistency regarding um, over the last number of years that a lot of their main players over that period are, are playing here tonight Ben Leck are down some players you know, the, the standout ones obviously Dara McGurn who, who's away on his travels they're missing Keir McBride's out and Peter Monaghan's out both with injuries that they picked up against Balcou um, so look Ben Leck's slightly under strength here and you know that could be um could prove difficult here tonight if, if Derek Onley um with with most of their players uh, lining out from the start. Yeah we just go through the Derek Onley we just managed to get the Derek Onley line up here at the at at the last minute. Um so in goals one Jack Kelly, two Daniel Ward, three Michael Jones, four Niall Maguire, five Lee Jones, six Declan Cassidy, seven Rona McHugh 8 Ryan McGovern, 9 Ryan Jones, 10 Rona McGovern, 11, 11 Connell Jones, 12 Connor Burns. We're in 17 and uh, late inclusion who was out last week, uh, Shane McGullion, 14 uh, Garvin Jones. Garvin Jones, sorry, just couldn't read that right now, mate. <laughs> uh, and 15 Gary McKenna. Uh, we haven't got the, the full Bell and Elect team at the moment, but when we get that, we will give it to you. Um, just yeah, you know, Derek Onley would say starting to get some of these younger players in now. Ronan McGovern, Ryan McGovern, Connor Burns, um, Niall Maguire. You know, starting. You know, they still have that experience there with Decky Casty, Ryan Jones, Connell, all these guys, Shane McGullion, Gary McKenna. But but they're starting to get that mix now and starting to get these younger players introduced. Yeah, and, and those lads you're talking about there, they're supposed around the 20, 21 year old mark, so, and they've, they've played a number of games over the last few years. They got championship football last year, and especially in the, likes of the group stage championship last year, they got plenty of championship experience. So those lads now are starting to push on and replace some of the, the elder statesmen in the Derrick Only team. Um, so they've got a very strong line out, and a, we'll, we'll see how this game goes, but certainly from the start, you'd expect Derrick Only to really go at this game at home and, and lay down a marker early on. Yeah, no doubt, and uh, I see. Jared Goller getting ready here. Derek Onley are in the huddle away to our left. Interesting too, two very, very strong management teams here with great experience. You have uh, Sean Flanagan coming back this year to the to the number one spot in Derek Onley, having led them to championship success before. Of course, we have Shane Ward there coaching a man you know who needs no introduction. Managed Leitrim seniors, Leitrim uh, under twenties and manage Glen Carman or Hamilton to, to a Leitrim Senior Championship on the other side uh, you know we have this man Daniel Kill below us and coaching you know great experience ex-skate player and then 
in the number one spot, Nigel Cini in his first season, the man who's guided Trillick to a Tyrone Senior Championship. So, two very strong management teams as well. Definitely, and you know, it was a big coup to get uh, Nigel from, from Trillick after he stepped down last year. That was a statement again from Banner Elect that they're ready to make the, the final step. And Nigel will be trying to build on the work that Colin Bradley done over the last number of years to try and maybe get them over the finish line in Fermanagh this year. Yeah, absolutely. They've been a team that have been knocking on the door this last few years and, you know, for success and consider themselves to have been very close, I would say. We're just getting ready changes, to start here. Couple changes here, the two Cullens are midfield from the start. Garvin Jones in midfield. Cian Connors come back to the half-back line. Fergie Keenan's went back from centre-half forward to cornerback. So there's a lot of changes already at the start here. So a bit of tactical stuff going on here and we'll we'll get the rest of the, the Belenelec team here now. In goals, Ryan McNulty, two, James Spade, three, Shea Cullen, four, Eamon Green, five, Owen McCarney, six, Gerard, sorry, Niall Hussey. Presley. Presley, seven, Garrett Kavna, eight. Dermot Lusley. Dermot Lusley, nine, Conor McCauley, ten, Gar Garvin Quigley, eleven, Fergal Keenan. 12 Brian Owens, 13 Lee Cullen, 14 Cain Connors, and 15, sorry, I can't. It's Caelan Owens. Caelan Owens, so Dicky Casty has the ball and he gives it back to Lee Jones. Lee moves forward and sizes up for a shot, and this one just drifts to the right and wide. So the first attack from Duragani here in the very first minute. Very determined run there from Connor Burns, going down the left hand side and brought it back for, for Lee Jones, who. Um, just didn't find the accuracy just at the beginning of this game. Just just looking at the way the conditions are here, would we be under a little bit of threat with darkness before the end of this game? Definitely is. Yeah. Looking dark at the so minute. Kick out. Ryan Jones goes up for it and gets a fist to it. Ronan McHugh battles, battles for the ball with James Spade there. And there's a bit of confusion about which way this one's going to go, but I think... Uh, Sean Flanagan's not too sure about this Sean, one now. Sean's not too sure and he's having a few words with the Balanelec linesman. But it's going to be taken here by Eamon Green underneath this. He looks to go back and he plays it back to Cain Connor, who's tackled by Decky Casty. But he gives it out to Shea, Cull Shea Cullen who'd give it to Gareth Kavna, who gives it back to Eamon Green and Eamon moves forward and he gives it back to Gareth again. Ball's played. Moves about him and Green has it in there again, but it's cut out inside Connor Burns. Good interception. And the ball's played long up the field by Shane McGullion. And Gary McKenna has it. Gary looks around him and the runners are coming and they're coming from deep. And it's Garvin Jones and he gives it back to Connell Jones and it's played inside. And Ryan Jones coming in and a goal chance here, but he's. Well. Sure, Goller deemed that not to be a foul, and uh, the Derg only bench underneath us here don't quite agree with that decision. But um, the great Ryan Jones probably unfortunate, unfortunate, not, unfortunate not to get a, not penalty. To get a penalty there. Mark McGoldrick, that noted stats man over to our left hand side here, is non-committal on this issue as usual. Ball goes high underneath us here, and Conor McCauley grabs the ball and he has the ball in hand and very very greasy conditions and he, he gives it in here and it's given to Brian Owens Brian gives it back out to Ken Connor Ken to the hand inside the 45 and he gives us that Garvin Quigley over yeah. on that far side yes I knew I should have broke my glasses now a stark Morris a stark so a free in there a judge to have fouled with Garvin Jones a judge to have fouled Garvin Quigley so it's a free in the Nalek and a chance for the first score here after three minutes of play. So taking the free over here is Brian Owens. Brian sizes it up into the dressing room goals. And he kicks it right footed and and the first score of the game comes here after four minutes. Brian Owens with a free for Nalek. Good play there by Garvin Quigley down the free and it was a good strike, first strike for Brian Owens. Jack Kelly goes towards Rona McGovern and it's cut out and this time it's cut out by J James Spade. Rona McGovern underneath us here and Rona knocks Connor Burns is free but likes not to. He plays it down the line and 
Shane McGullion is down the line there, but it's a push in the back and a push in the back that time by the number 11, who is Fergal Keenan. So, Gary McKenna had the ball in his hand, but he's left it for the left foot of Garvin Jones who takes it short this time and he gives it to the brother Connell and flicks it back up and it's messy but Garvin comes away and he gives it inside gives it to Gary McKenna but Kane Connor dispossesses him it's a bit scrappy Eamon Green Eamon has the ball and he gives it back gives it to Fergal Keenan Fer Fergal gives it out this time to Garrett Kavnan Garrett surrounded by Derek Only men Sorry, it's Caelan Owens. And Ronan McGovern takes it short to Connor Burns and Connor looks over and he gives it to Ryan McGovern and Ryan drops the shoulder and goes. Just gives it back here, Ryan Jones and Ryan shoots, but this one goes to the right and wide again. There's two moves that Ryan Jones has got on the end of. He hasn't been successful in any scores yet, but that's something that they're going to need to watch. Yeah, you bet. You know, no better man than Ryan Jones to be on the end of a move. You know, reading yeah, the play, coming from deep, play, coming yeah. from deep and bursting off through. The, off the shoulder, last man, and usually very clinical, and I'm sure that will come as the game goes on. So Ryan McNulty goes to kick this one out, and he kicks it long. Comes up, Garvin Jones breaks it. And in goes Lee Cullen, and Lee battles for it and is back with Kane Connor. Kane wearing number 14, but certainly never was going to line out at number 14. He gives the ball out to Garrett Kavanagh. It's back with Connor McCauley, and Connor gives it out on that far side, and it's given to the number seven, who is Garrett Kavanagh. Garrett gives it back inside, and the left move it to the hand. It ends up with Kane Connor, and it's given over here to Owen McCarney inside. Connor McCauley has it and Connor looks up and Connor kicks but that one just is going to drift narrowly to the left and wide. There's a breeze here as well going to cause the pitch to maybe affect that shot. a bit of a breeze and, and I'd say if anything just judging by the way we're standing here it's more favouring Derek Onley than, than uh, Ben Alec judging by some of those shots and that last one of Ryan Jones's. we just look at this kick out yeah, from Jack it's gone long it's gone down, it's broken down, that man Lee Jones comes on to the ball and he gives it to Connor Burns and Connor bursts through, striding through Connor Burns. He's held up there well by Garrett Kavna. He gives it out on the far side, but it comes over to Garvin Jones and Garvin turns on the left foot, but that one again is... There are only management there, Sean Flanagan down below us, not be happy with the shooting. Yeah, three three wides for the first uh, three shots on goal, which is disappointing three, for them. But Three wides and a you know, well, possible penalty shot, so, you know. But all, they have lots of possession early on, which, is, which is a good sign. Yeah. So Ryan McNulty goes to kick this one out. And it kind of holds up a bit in the breeze and Ryan McGovern comes down with it Ryan Jones comes away with it he has Lee Jones outside Is Derek Only come pouring forward again and Ryan Jones again surrounded by Ben Leckman looks to get a shot away can't get it away back to Decky Cassidy out to Ronan McGovern and Ronan toe to hand looks across the field gives a little pop pass inside to his brother Ryan Ryan evades the tackle fist pass inside but a good intervention there by Garrett Kavan, I think it was and the ball ends up with Ryan McGovern again. He's surrounded by Ben Alekman and they come out with the ball. And Garvin Quigley and it's given back and Garvin Quigley has the ball again and he gives it across here. He gives it across to Kaelan to Owens. Owens and the judge to have overcarried the ball there was Owen McCarney and it's given inside here and Gary McKenna and Gary gets by his man and he looks to get a shot away and get Derek Onley but this one drops short and into Ryan McNulty's hands and out again come Ben Alec with the ball and Garvin Quigley back there sweeping and he looks and he carries the ball out of defence Lee Jones holds him up for a while but shadowing him but Garvin's still going he's under the stand on the far side and he turns back and turns inside and dispossessed and away comes Ronan McGovern with the ball. Great work by Lee Jones there. He didn't dive in and Ronan McGovern a chance maybe to get the first score here for Derek Onley, but he likes to go back to Decky Cassidy and Garvin Jones has the ball and he turns inside and this time on the right foot. Yes. 
and he gets Derek on his first point and we know that one went over because Mark was uh, vociferous on that one alright glad good, to good, see good play from Derek Onley in the good first play, set of the pitch they won the ball back Derek Onley with a lot of possession in the first yeah. they, they did that score to set themselves down so. nine minutes gone here and it's one point apiece Garvin Jones electing to go with the right foot Ronan McHugh underneath us here and Ronan tackled by James Spate and I must say as a guy who was very impressed with last year done a lot of man marking jobs was James Spate I've seen him mark Alton Kellum and Balik in the championship last year and it's a very athletic player yeah very athletic player Ryan Jones with the ball underneath us here and Ryan to the hand and he gives it to Garvin Garvin looks up Garvin wearing 14 but back in his own half and as we know numbers mean nothing and it's given in here and Lee Jones and it's given in to Shane McGullion and Shane this time his advantage is played and it's a goal to Derrigan Lee I think it's Gary McKenna got on the end of it there a sweeping move from yeah the, the support play from Derrigan Lee has been outstanding in this first 10 minutes here they're coming off the shoulder uh, regularly around the middle of the park and they're creating a lot of chances and creating a lot of chances and it's causing problems here for the Benelag defence causing serious problems and I mean you know if they've taken their earlier chances they possibly could be seven or eight points up here but at the moment at ten over ten minutes gone it's one one to a point here in Durgonley and under severe pressure here it's Caelan Owens the ball's played in but it's cut out that time and it's cut out by Owen McCarney and some Ben and Lech needed that free nail. Yeah, need to get out here. Find it hard to get their hands in possession yeah, from around the middle of the park yeah, there at the yeah. minute. Is, uh, the rain starts to drive down here, and it is seems to be driving from left to right. So the elements in the Ben and Lech's face, and underneath us here now is Shea Cullen, and Shea plays the ball back. And out with the ball comes Caelan Owens, and he, he plays a long ball in, and it's gathered, but it's Greasy surfaces playing havoc here. Fergal Keenan has the ball and Fergal gives it back to Kane Connor and Kane plays a cross field ball to Shea Cullen and Shea looks to move inside the 45, gives a fist pass inside. Man inside there is Dermot Loosley and a lot of Derogonley bodies back and Ben Lalek having difficulty breaking through. Only one Derogonley man up in attack, everybody else back behind the ball and it's back with Garvin Quigley and Garvin wearing number 10 on his back and toe to hand and he looks to evade I think it's Ryan McGovern over there back with Kane Connor. bit of possession now badly needed possession for Ben Alec and I think that's Connor McCauley is it with a long range effort but thrifts to the right and wide more, so, pa more patient play there from Ben Alec to create more the score and they probably need to get in the ball a wee bit here and break the Durgonley momentum because Durgonley really on top in this game a long kick out a good kick out and a tangling of legs there between Orn McCarney and, and Connell Jones Dickie Cassidy kicks the ball back here ac ac accidental but I think it was probably yeah, it was necessary there because uh, um, Derek Only were probably three on goal if I they got that ball define accidental now well Jared Galler certainly letting things go here, which is yeah, probably yeah. adding to the game at the start it's of the game. One because thing about Jared Galler, you know, and I've seen a few of the games that he referees, you know, he tries to be a common sense referee. Yeah. There's hard so, work going on from both teams, and he's letting yeah, it go. Yeah. So Garvin lines this one up and goes with the left foot this time, but it looks as if it's yes, it's dropped short. And I think he's Jared, him, He's bringing the ball in. I think. He's bringing the ball in because seemingly somebody must have said something and. Nigel Cini not be happy with that bit of indiscipline in there by his defence because what was a difficult kick has now become probably Ref know, referees in the county appear to be focusing on that in the league so far this year is, is the talk of when free kicks are being hit so they're, they're probably, trying to stamp it out probably rightfully so you know what I mean it's, it, it's an unnecessary bit of indiscipline yeah it's difficult enough for free takers without somebody talking in their ear at the same time so 13 minutes gone here in Derrigonley and it's Derrigonley lead by 1-1 one, one, but we would imagine that will change shortly here as Garvin Jones lines this one up and goes with the left foot and yet again it kind of slides off the boot but it does the job and goes over the bar and it's 1-2 to a point here in Derrigonley. 
dominant first quarter by Derek Onley. Yeah. Probably should be further ahead. Yeah, and they're, they're pushing up on the kick out here well too. There's not much space for for Ray McNulty to get the ball out here. The ball played out. Conor McCauley and Ryan Jones battle for it. Ray, Ryan Jones manages to get it away and f flicks it across towards Decky Cassidy, but it's taken away this time and it's probably a free out there, yeah. So Cain Connor has the ball and he plays it across to his goalkeeper Ryan McNulty and Ryan comes out with the ball now and plays a long probing ball out to the man with number three on his back Shea Cullen started at midfield even though numbers mean nothing really in the modern game but they really mean nothing here tonight Lee Jones comes away with the ball and it's ominous again as this Derek Onley wave comes forward Decky Casty with the ball and there's runners coming from everywhere Connor Burns Connor has it plays it back to Decky Cassidy and the momentum slightly dies in this attack but he, he switches the play beautifully and oh what a ball into Garvin Jones and Garvin strides forward and right footed and unfortunately for Gareth but that one had, or for Garvin that one had uh, goal written all over it it's very good effort some ball from from Decky Jones yeah brilliant Decky the, Cassidy. the vision the patience and the ball for Derek Onley the weight it's all his heads up football which is brilliant to, to watch really on top in this game leading by one two to a point short kick out to Gareth Cavan Gareth turns toe to hand and it's not as Fergal Keenan it's here, number 11 and Fergal Keenan a judge to have over carried that time and it's a free in here to Derek Onley and really no relief here at all for Belenelec trying to get out I think Nigel Saini will be disappointed with the, maybe the support play from some of his players supporting the man on the ball they're getting, getting credited out of a lot of the time here with no man to lay it off to so something they need to work on before half time here I think it's Gary McKenna over on the far side there uh, and he kicks this one in but it looks to just be drifting and it's drifted out and wide one of them made an effort there to keep it in but it just drifted out wide as Ben Alec bring a sub on here who is number 19 so it's, we need to see who's coming off here now uh, or has anyone come off yet yeah, it Presley comes off and uh, he's replaced by number 19 we'll get a name unfortunately we have no team cheats here but we'll get a name now shortly our man in the field here Phil has gone forth and the ball with Eamon Green and Eamon gives it back uh, Oshin McCarran Oshin McCarney and Cain Connor has been pushed there in the back and it's a cheap enough free to give away there I'd say he was uh, unnecessary really there because he was bottled up by Derek Onley man and didn't look like he was going to get a shot away but he's a kind of a forwards tackle there I didn't see who done it but Shane McGullion uh, so Derek Onley lead by 1-2 to a point but one is slotted over the bar by Barry Brian, Brian Owens. Brian Owens for second three from two from yeah. difficult angles on the right hand side. So. I suppose the only thing like it's one two to two points and for the dominance of Derek Onley, you know, they should really be further ahead in this game. So Ben and Lech looking for a free, but it doesn't look like they might need it because Ryan McGovern and yes, just possibly took that extra step I think it probably was good play there by Jared Guller because he let the play go without raising his arm and like Shane Cullen maybe felt a bit aggrieved there he got a bit of a nudge maybe perhaps for when he's going for that ball but they've won it back so Cain Connor gives a short across there and I think that's Gareth Cavan strides forward Gareth good year with Fermanagh and he gives it out to Garvin Quigley Garvin on the far side Garvin of course one of the Hogan 
Cup yeah, give, winners. Give, give the advantage there for the forward, pulling back the, the Banalek player there. Yeah. Sweet. So Banalek, you know, you know Derek had a, had a serious period of dominance there, and you know you would say probably should have been six or seven points up, and and, and they're not. You know, there's only a score in the game. We have. Nineteen minutes gone. Nineteen minutes gone. So Garvin Quigley kicks this one off the ground, but it doesn't look like you no, know, it's drifted out to harmlessly. Maybe one, you know, into this bit of a breeze that might have been better to to work short there now. Yeah, it was diffi a difficult angle for a right, right footer on that side. It was, it was just inside the forty five. A difficult kick. Probably gets a bit of a breeze there as well. So Jack Kelly with the kick out as the swallows fly around us here and Cannon Maguire Park. My father always used to say a bad sign of the weather, man. Mm -hmm. So Decky Casty on this far side and he gives it out to Lee Jones and Lee looks Lee very, very intelligent player and Lee and he gives a little pop into Ryan Jones and Ryan looks to get by that swarm of Alnalek players and Decky Cassidy and Decky gives a fist pass across to Ronan McHugh and Ronan looks and he moves the ball forward and it's given in this time. It's given in there. Gary McKenna and oh, Gary's a judge, a judge to have fallen and we see a sub coming on for Durabonny, Aaron Jones. Aaron, former county under 20 captain, um, played in Balik last week and be interesting to see who uh, Aaron is coming on for here. Looks to be coming on. Niall Maguire. Must have been an injury there, Maguire. Yeah, Niall Maguire seems to be the man going off, and unfortunately for Niall, he looks to be carrying an injury there. So out come F Fergal Keenan comes out with the ball for Ben Alec and Benalek have got a, a bit of a foothold back in the game yeah. over the last five minutes. S settled, they're they're settled and possession better here. Yeah, Nigel Cini be. A lot happier with the last five minutes of play. Um, you know, Derek only looked like they were go going to overrun them there, and that hasn't materialised. And you know, like any game, the longer you leave a team in the game, especially with the calibre of players, you know, the Ben and have, and this is better looking move. And Conor McCauley moves forward and he gets the ball toe to hand, and he flicks a dangerous ball in, and it's a it's a point, but it may well have been more Dermot loosely. I think it was there that. Yes, it was looped in behind the midfielder, and his his fellow midfielder Conor McCauley. I don't know if he's going for a point. It dropped short, but that one could have looped into the net just as easily. Now, just shows you the, the, the benefit of always chasing those balls in, and, and, and Dermot got a fist on it. It could have very well ended up in the net. So Jack, Jack Kelly, and yeah, Ben and Lex starting to get into this game as we the last ten minutes, and he gives good ball in there and it's another one and Dermot up on Dermot loosely and forward comes Eamon Green and Eamon fist the ball to the net excellent goal there ball broken at midfield and Garvin uh, Garrett Quigley was it uh, Garvin Quigley gave an excellent ball inside and it was a flick pass out and it was put into the middle and Eamon Green very impressed with this corner back here it's an ex excellent move that's the support play we're talking about from Bannalek yeah. The, the, the management team so, here were, were, were encouraging them to get forward more, and, and that was so, a good move. You know, we've come to a position, amazingly enough, and Ben and Lech really on top. Really, you know, the last five minutes have really turned this, and this man has been instrumental in a lot of it, Garvin Quigley. Uh, judged, I think, rightfully so. A good call there by Jared Guller. Judged it's interesting, it. there's a lot of big men out in the middle of the park, and both teams seem happy enough to put the ball out long. Uh, yeah. um, but definitely, Ban Lack have won the last couple there, which is to their advantage. Yeah, there's not a lot of short kick outs going here tonight, I suppose, really. I have to say, it's not maybe a night for that type of football. Going, going long to the middle and taking your chances on the break. But, but Derek Onley, you know, good carrying ball team, and here comes. Lee Jones and Lee to run a McHugh and it's given inside Garvin Jones but Belnalek get the numbers back and Belnalek really have there and they're hunting down in numbers here and Rona McGovern and he's tackled tenaciously there and he gives a cross field ball and it's given over there to Daniel Ward and it's out with Ryan Jones gives a pop and Lee Jones 
pops up inside there and it's given out and Gary McKenna and Durland and he needed that to, you know it was a settler for them and we have a draw game here in in Derrick only with five minutes left in the in the first half so I didn't think we'd be saying we have a draw game Niall no, it's, been, it's been a good bad night especially ah, for the yeah, last ten minutes it's been a good game you know it's been a good game of football there's no doubt very very competitive and some good play some some excellent link play and yeah, just pushing the back there and Jared Guller let it go to see how to develop Ryan Jones on the ball here scores 1-3 apiece as we enter the last few minutes of the first half here and Derogani and Ryan Jones sees Connor Burns inside and Connor manages to keep this one in, in and Kane Connor has him penned in in the corner there and Connor gets it out to Gary McKenna Ronan McGovern outside and it's all got very very scrappy and Jared Ger Guller Jared Guller uh, judges that uh, it was fouled on the ground there as Ronan McGovern has some words with uh, Lee yeah. Cullen both, both teams are hunting in packs and getting a lot of good defensive oh, working sorry, doubling up on players and dispossessing yeah. which is great to see yeah absolutely uh, Kane plays a long cross field ball over there I think it's James Spate is it over on that far side goes forward no it's not Sochi actually McCarney. Uh, Sochi McCarney apologies throw the hand over on the far side now and it's given out there now Lee Cullen with the ball it's, oh, it's turned over badly and Ryan Jones and Daryl Gonley come pouring forward Gary McKenna on the ball and toe to hand 15 is back and he's got a runner who is Ryan McGovern and this should be a score for Derek Onley yes you know that that's more of the type of play you know when you have turnovers to be looking to punish those turnovers every time and be more clinical Again, a, a, great, a great drive and support run there yeah. from, from Ryan McGovern yeah Ryan um, McGovern I was impressed with him in Belique last week he got through a lot of untold unseen work a lot of you know hard you know, done a lot of running, done a lot of tracking. So, James Spade with the ball and it comes out. So, I'd say it's a yeah, push on the back there. So, Caelan Owens plays it back to Ray McNulty and Ryan to the hand as Derek Onley have managed to get their noses in front here again as we enter the last couple of minutes of the first half and out with the ball Lee Cullen but he's, he's turned over and oh well Gerard Guller was closer to it than I was but when the man's judged, bent, when the man's picking, bent yeah, down, down to he's out so we have the ball here and it's given out Oh, McCarney has given it to Connor McCauley and Connor has Dermot Lucy beside him who makes a run inside and creates the space and it's given out here on the wing and oh it's oh and it's hit the post James Spate actually there it hit the post and Lee Jones was there to mop it up and win his free very brave there from Lee Jones went down intelligent play it's Aaron Jones actually One, Oh, it's Aaron. Yeah, very, very good play by Aaron Jones. Yeah. He, he, hit, he hit the ground and he got up. The, bro the brothers bit, bit. are getting that alike now. I don't know the difference in them. He, uh, he did well. He took, took, took a strong challenge yeah. and he got back on his feet very quickly. Brave, brave player, Aaron. Uh, really good, tenacious cornerback. You know, both himself and, and Lee, I would say, you know, probably they mightn't get the headlines at times on the rated players, but a big part of this dirt on the setup. Aidan McKenna. McKenna. Aidan McKenna's come in here and who he, oh, mm -hmm. Ronan McGovern. Oh, Colin Ryan. Jones. Colin Jones has gone off injured and Ryan or Ronan McGovern looks to be in in trouble here as well. Ronan, you know, he's got a good run in the league this year and I hope that's not anything too serious. He's starting to get a good run and playing quite well. So Shane Mullion gives it out and he gives it to Garvin Jones and Garvin gives a fist past him here and it's given in to Daniel Ward and Daniel moves up the field and he gives a pass inside and Decky Casty looks to get inside but can't get on the end of this one. It's cut out there and I think it's Fergal Keenan who is back there and manages to win the free and you know as I say numbers mean very little out here and Oshin McCarney on the far side on the ball and 
he gives it out that man again Garvin Quigley who's been all over the place in this game and really was instrumental in that revival for Belna Lecton getting them back and a very intelligent ball inside and it's given back out here to Dermot or to uh, Connor McCauley and that's that really is an excellent score lovely ball inside given inside there Garvin Quigley played it into Brian Owens and very intelligent pass just a flick pass off and Conor McCauley another yeah. good player really good club player yeah he's, he's having a good season yeah. and you see that the more the Ben Elect take less out of the ball they're, they're yeah. definitely more dangerous in attack yeah. the ball has moved quick there and laid off quick so it's gone long here and it's gone over Kane Conor's head and it's gone right to the full forward line and Conor Burns and Connor gives a pass inside and it's Mickey Jones on a, on a foray forward and he gives it back to Connor and Co Connor well, it just screwed off Connor's foot and just didn't uh, into Ray McNulty there and Ben Lelec come away with the balls this man the goal scorer Raymond Green and Connor Connor McCauley and Connor cuts inside but he's faced by a wall of Durgonley men but he manages to get it away out to his right hand side to Kane Connor and Kane moves inside the 45 and uh, you know unnecessary foul probably there from Ryan McGovern because they had him they had him stopped and they had him hold, held up but here's a sub coming on number 22 Connor McGovern comes on and he replaces Ronan McGovern Ronan who unfortunately has come off injured another good young player Connor McGovern just going to injury time here in the first half. He's just entered injury time and it's a draw game here in, in Cannon Maguire Park and Derrick Only and the rain has abated somewhat here and good game of football. Yeah, now. it's it's really come alive there in the, in the last fifteen minutes. Oh, of this Garvin, half. that one dropped short and it's dangerous and it's in there and it's and here it come Oh and it's a goal. It's a goal there. It's uh Shea Cullen. Cullen with the man with number three on his back and she has been getting a lot of goals this year for both. Well, it, it was reminiscent of the one he got for Fermanagh against Derry in the championship, but it just shows, and as the the whistle goes, I didn't think we'd be saying it, but uh, Ben Lelec lead here by three points, a scoreline of 2-4 to 1-4 at half time here in Cannon Maguire Park. Just before we knock off here, Niall, thoughts on that first half? Well, obviously Ben Lack are going to go in very happy at half time a goal ahead you probably wouldn't have thought that would be the case after 10 minutes but they've really settled into the game um, as the game has, has gone on um, we talked about their support play at the start of the game they were getting closed down a lot in their attack but they're moving the ball a lot quicker now in the last 15 minutes and that's you know they're reaping the rewards of that um, the, they've also had a couple of frees free that they could have had as well to add to their tally so look they're going to be very happy Derek Onley will be like I said, on the other side will be disappointed um, they did a number of chances early on in the game might have had a shout for a penalty too they could have brought the game a bit closer um, but they kicked a number of wides at the very beginning of the game and I guess it's costly I think it's five wides they've had so far so if you took a couple of them along with a pa possible penalty they, they could possibly be ahead in this game but look um, Van Leck for their play over the last 15 minutes probably deserved to go in ahead Oh, absolutely, and, and you know we'd have to say that you know we talk about leaders in the game, and you know for 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 Ben Lelec, they're they're big men have really stood up. You know, Ken Connor there in defence is really having a, a good game. You know, the Cullens are, are are doing their bit. Very impressed by this young lad, Eamon Green. You know, a cornerback yeah. uh, coming up, getting his goal. Good defensive play as well. Garvin Quigley, you know, some lovely intelligent. Passes inside, he's back sweeping, he's buzzing round all over the place. Conor, Conor McCauley, Conor, 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 Conor McCauley, well. yeah, you know, so like it's all set up here for a very intriguing, very interesting second half. Yeah, and I think Derek Onley, you know, there'll be, uh, I think Sean Flanagan will have, will have words some at half time, disappointed with their, with their play towards the end of the half, so you can expect to see maybe a, a big start from them in the start of the second half. So as we sign off here from half time from Fermanagh GA TV, the first game that uh, has been shown this year and a thank you to all the sponsors uh, some of them have been shown there and will be shown that sponsored uh, the house draw and, and all the people who continue to help to fund with for manager a big thank you so we'll sign off and we'll be back shortly for the second half
Welcome back to Canham Aware Park here in Derrigonley. Ben Alec lead this game by 2 4 to 1 4. I suppose the story of the first half a very dominant Derrigonley in the first 15 minutes. Ben Alec really came back into it and that uh, Lee Cullen goal. Or was Shea, sorry, yeah, Shea Cullen goal just before half time and they lead here by a goal. Niall, thoughts going into the second half? I think we we'll probably get a big start here from Derek Onley, but perhaps the same as the first half to see can get back into this game. So up go the two Collins go up with Ryan McGovern and, and Garvin Jones it is this time out with him and Ryan McGovern loses the tackle and he gives a little pop pass inside. Gary McKenna shows well for it. Shadowed there by Fergal Keenan and Gary forced in the corner out with Ronan McHugh and they're penned in the corner gets it oh a lovely little flick there and Ronan McHugh goes in and he fists this one over the bar and a good start 20 seconds 25 seconds at the, the start of the second half and Niall I think you were a bit prophetic there you know that uh Derek Only were going to come out all guns blazing. Yeah, and again a determined run there from, from Ronan McHugh and a very sensible decision to fist that ball over the bar coming in from the angle. Ronan McHugh getting a settled run in the, in the Derek Omni team this year. And the ball goes out there, Ryan Jones breaks it down, but a hand on the back. and An intelligent break down there by Lee Cullen to James Spate coming onto the ball. Uh, Ken Connor goes on the run and he's seen, he's spotted there by Connor McCauley. And Ken towed a hand and looks back and plays the ball back across here. And it's back with, with Shea Cullen. And Given and Shea looks up and ah, this one slides off his boot and harmlessly away. Just judging by that, whatever, there's a slight breeze, I would say, from left to right here blowing down the field, probably in Balnalek's favour. So it's given out here short to Daniel Warden. Daniel up the field, toe to hand. Uh, Eamon Green comes over and Eamon physical. Stops Garvin Jones and Garvin Cross Decky Casty and De Decky toe to hand wearing six on his back gives it inside there and Shane McGullion and classily slots that one over the bar and Derek Only with the first two points of this second half and show that they really mean business rocked by that injury time goal at the end of the first half but their def the def defenders and particularly their half back lane are taking up good four positions become, becoming a a target in the attack for, for Derek Only coming forward. So Ryan McNulty kicks this one out under the stand looking and it's well broken over there and it was Lee Cullen that gives the ball back and it's over here and way too much space for this man. Garvin Quigley in 10 on his back and he moves forward, slips inside Garvin Jones and cuts inside but oh, he gets it, he manages to get the ball back out. It was uh, Shea Cullen out there, yeah, and it's out to Kane Connor, and he has, he has Lee Cullen inside him, but Kane elects to go on. He's well tackled over there by Shea McGullion, but slipping inside there is Connor McCauley, and Connor turns inside and hops, surrounded by Derek Onlyman, gets it back out, and the rain starts to drive down here. Garvin Quigley with the ball toe to hand. Gives it inside into Shea Cullen and back and tries to elude Derek Only man, but he's just bottled up and surrounded and he's overturned. And Garvin Jones gives the ball away and Derek Only comes away with Fergal Keenan and Derek Only looking for a free, but it hasn't been given by Jared Goller. He turns inside and the number 12 has it, Brian Owens, and he kicks that one as curling and it's curling and it curls off the post and it curls, curls over the bar and it's a point from Balnalek and I think Derek has been annoyed about that I think Dickie Cassidy yeah, was, was looked to be yeah was fouled out here in it, front it of us it definitely was a foul yeah, it was I accidental know, again yeah, but it was, it was accidental an, an but it definitely was a foul Sean Flanagan but a very very good strike there by Brian yeah, Owens outside of the boot short, short kick out there by Jack Kelly and it's Garvin Jones back here and Garvin plays a cross field ball over to Aidan McKenna here over in front of us and Aidan with number 20 on his back Aidan Slips the tackle and goes by, and he, he gives the ball out. And it's Connor Burns, and Connor gives it inside. And Sh Shane McGullion with the ball, Shane, who scored the last Derg Only score. And he, he's surrounded by Derg but he evades those tackles. And Shane comes up with the ball somehow, and he gives it inside. And Connor McGovern, and Connor gets a shoulder. But fairness, Jared Guller was playing in, 
playing some advantage there and he's given for the earlier free yeah, it was determined play from Shane McGullion yeah, yeah. and, and Gerard was happy enough to let him tear and on ahead in fairness to Gerard conditions are, are very difficult here and he's trying to let the play go his hand was up for the advantage to be yes, fair to him but he, he, was given, he was giving him every opportunity to go further forward so somebody's having a few words with him there under the so Gary McKenna and Gary plays it across to Ryan Jones and Ryan's going to go for that loopy kick and, but I think this time no unfortunately for Ryan it drifts to the left and wide and Benalek have managed to get back to two points in front here it's 2-5 to 1-6 we have we have five minutes gone here in the second half and Cain Connor gives it back and he gives it back there to Garrett Kavlin it's back with Ryan McNulty and Ryan there's plenty of green grass in front of him here and he as he heads out by the 45 and he sees Garvin Quigley and Garvin looks up and he looks inside and he gives it inside this time to Oren McCarney and Oren moves forward and wayward kick there from just seems to slide off his boot and again a good, <coughs> a good drive and run is perhaps good, just yeah. to steady himself for that wee split second mm. force kick so two wides for Belenlec at the start of this second half could prove costly for them as this game goes off and then Garvin Jones up that time and it's the, that man the substitute Joshi McCarney and he gets it back out this time Lee Cullen with 13 in his back and he gives it this man again Eamon Green foraging forward from corner back and Eamon but he's, he's well turned over Danny Ward comes up with the ball and he gives it to Aidan McKenna and it's given out there and it's back with Danny Ward and it's given out to Mickey Jones and Mickey comes out with the ball and it's given to Aidan McKenna and Aidan across with Ryan Jones and Ryan toe to hand Conor McCauley tries to dispossess him and good physical battle between these two men is given in towards Decky Casty but it's well intercepted there by Kieran Owens Conor McGovern and Conor that time loses out strong play from Moore McCarney strong very strong play and I must say I'm very impressed by the, the physicality of this yeah. Benelec team they look to be both teams yeah, there's a lot of big teams, men involved a lot here. Both of big teams. men and good you know we talk about strength and conditioning in the, in the modern day game and the two Cullens link up there well Shea give it a lee and a pop pass inside and he's looking in there and it lands out with Brian Owens and back out here Dermot Lucy Dermot who got the first goal oh no it wasn't uh, actually got a point it's given out to Lee Cullen and Lee gives it out there to Oren McCarney and Oren gives it across field to the man with number 11 Fergal Keenan who's playing more of a sweeper role and Garvin Quigley and Garvin pops up and he looks and with the left foot he takes a speculative shot but that one goes out to the left and and wide and three wides for Ben Alec but judging by those shots they do seem to have the the elements at their back and the ball comes out and it's with Kane Connor and Ben Alec's really getting an advantage here in the middle of the park from the yeah, tickets Ben Alec yeah definitely getting the, the switch Lee Lee Cullen and Lee has Kane Connor and Kane coming definitely driving forward more in this game and he gives it to Che and moving forward and goes for the goal and a great save great save from Jack Kelly there and out comes Ronan McHugh at the ball again there Ronan McHugh's a player who's been getting involved a lot of good play here for Derek Onley as well yeah. at the back both going in the defence and going forward yeah, absolutely um, ball comes out on the far side and Connor Burns Connor evades the tackle and gives a fist pass into Decky Casty and Decky Decky has the advantage and he'll have the free and a wee bit of experience with Decky there and that a wee free. bit of experience there and that free and we have nine minutes gone here in Cannon Maguire Park and Derrick Onley and the scores here 2-5 to Balnalek 1-6 to Derrick Onley game very finely balanced here now yeah, it's been a good start of the second half, actually. There's been a lot, of, a lot of decent play from both teams. The skill level is, is high despite the, the, the wet conditions, but I suppose you, you'd expect that from two of the, the best teams in the county. Absolutely, and I think it's Garvin, is it OVS? Garvin Jones over there on the far side. and He 
kicks that one and it hits the post and it comes down and it's Connor McGovern and does Connor manage no he, that one screws away it hasn't gone out uh, Gary McKenna kept it in and Garvin this time and the ball to and fro and over and back and it ends up with Ryan Jones and Ryan slots it over the bar and it was a bit of like a bit of ping pong there over and back yeah. Niall and it ended up with, with Niall or with Ryan Jones and he landed Ryan's, that one Ryan's first point it was, it was good play by Conor McGarvin there involved a couple of times good handling yeah. and he got the ball out very quickly to Ryan yeah. who, got, who got a good score yeah intelligent play by Conor there he, he could have went for himself but he managed to get out to Ryan Jones and again, again Benelek win the break yeah. Benelek win the break and Eamon Green has it but he doesn't have much support and he's surrounded by Derek Onley men that time no free Ryan Jones comes up with the ball and he gives it out to Aaron Jones and Aaron gives it Danny Ward and it's getting scrappy over there and judged have been a foul committed there I, Conor McCauley had judged to have fouled Danny Ward and both dugouts getting fairly irate here and Ryan McGovern oh, played it in towards Decky Cassidy and Dermot Lucy Dermot Lucy is out over the end line and we have the bare minimum between the teams here in Derrick Onley and Ryan McGovern plays it in Gary McKenna and Gary turns inside where number 15 is back he's been shadowed and tackled Fergal Keenan and gives it out Conor McGovern and Conor gives it to Ronan McHugh Ronan drops it but manages to get, gain control Conor McGovern number 22 on his back to the hand looks up looks what's available for him and Ronan McHugh and Ronan goes back into his own half and Ben Lalek with everybody bar one behind the ball a fist pass over the far side Conor Burns has the ball and Conor bounces the ball cuts inside Connor gives a fist pass back outside to Ryan Jones and Ryan gives a little pop pass inside but it's cut out by Kane Connor and that will be a free out a foul there by Garvin Jones and again it's good defensive structure there by Ben Alec. good 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 intelligent you know Ryan seen the pass and Kane Connor you know very intelligent play intercepted it so Derek Onley getting another substitute warmed up here number 19 Stephen Gilroy Another experienced player coming on here now for Derek Onley. And who's he coming on for? Connor Burns dead injured here, perhaps. Could be coming on, and maybe it's that Connor Burns is injured. Hopefully, for Connor, it's not too. Yeah, Derek Onley, very unfortunate here this evening. Four injuries. I mean, this is the fourth man to go off. Connell Jones went off injured, and Ronan McGovern went off injured. And Niall Maguire going off injured, you know, very, very unfortunate here. And don't know, you know, you could conditions are really slippy here this evening, and may have something to do with it, you know. But uh, very unfortunate for Derek Onley and worrying situation moving forward as we move towards the end of the league and come into Championship season now. Definitely, yeah. You know, this, this time of year where maybe teams um, coming to the tail end of the league, they don't want any injuries ahead of the Championship. But there's plenty of time for that yet, and hopefully none of them are too serious. Absolutely, as Connor, you know, who's managed to get a really good run this year and got good championship time last year. Yeah, involved in a lot of good play today. Yeah, as well. involved in a lot of good play. Yeah, you know, Connor, smart player, very strong player, good on the ball. As Ryan McNulty comes out here with the ball and gives it there to Lee Cullen, but Lee drops the ball, but it goes back to Fergal Keenan. Fergal, who's been on a lot of ball, you know, sweeping up there and. Connor McCauley who's had a big game as well over here on the far side and he gives it back into Shea Cullen and Shea toe to hand and he's faced by Garvin Jones and he gives it to his brother ah oh, it's played in but it's cut out it's cut out by Shea McGullion and Derek Onley looked to counter quickly and it's all about the transition here and it's given to Stephen Gilroy and wearing number 19 on his back and he cuts back inside and gives it to Gary McKenna and Gary gives it to Lee Jones and looks up and Decky Cassidy makes himself available and he gives a fist pass outside Ryan Jones has it Ryan gives the ball over to Aidan McKenna Aidan to Ryan Jones and it's, it's uh, Ryan McGovern and Ryan Jones and it's back over here with Danny Warden Danny with number two on his back and judged to have been fouled that time by Eamon Green and 
think both teams have been maybe both guilty teams. at times of, of kicking the ball perhaps and it just wasn't on you know and a greasy net like that the kick pass into the four line maybe just isn't on at every opportunity and as we enter the 15th minute here in Durragonley Ben Lalek leading by the bare minimum 2-5 to 1-7 Garvin Jones Garvin gives it back Aidan McKinnon he sizes up and he kicks and this one drifts in and it drifts over the bar good play from Durragonley good score you felt the next score in this game there hadn't been a score for a while it was going to be crucial and it's Danny. all level here now as we enter the final quarter in Durragonley Danny Ward involved a couple of times in that move as yeah. well and linked up well with uh, before Ian McKenna got his first point after coming on oh, Conor McCauley and Conor that time with attention from and he plays the ball in and he's looking for over on the far side there is Brian Owens and Brian and Judge have been fouled and did very very well there to win that possession yeah. of the ball and slippy conditions done very slippy well. conditions as the driving rain so ball played back there and it was played back to Lee Cullen is back there over and Kane Connor has the ball and Kane looks up and he fancies this one he plays a long dangerous ball in and it, it it's scrappy in there but that man Danny Ward who's gotten a lot of ball for Derek Anley in the second half the stats man beside me here is nodding his head so his possessions will be well up I have no doubt Decky Casty and Decky plays the ball inside Gary McKenna and his play back here Shane McGullion who's become very influential in this game in the second half Decky Casty and Decky little fist pass Garvin Jones and Stephen McGullion oh it's a point but an excellent move there and Stephen McGullion started that move or Shane McGullion started that move and he still was on the end of it Garvin Jones made a very very determined run from behind the midfield yeah, there to yeah. get up into the corner yeah. and he set up that point great really, work for him as well really good play it probably you know it deserved a goal and it just shaved over the crossbar but Derek Onley go into the lead here 1-9 to 2-5 and yet again this man Danny Ward has picked up yeah. you know the break and managed to put Aidan McKenna and Aidan 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 oh prob- I think it's the right call I, I say it, it is call. the right call and it probably was before that you know but uh, not two of the most physical players on the field but they managed to end up tangling there was determined play for both determined play for both and Ryan Jones with the ball here and Derek Onley just managing to get their noses in front here this very tight encounter and Ryan McGovern Ryan has got through a power of work yeah. here this evening through really stepping up yeah. so Aidan McKenna gives it out to Lee Jones and Lee, and Lee gives it out on the far side and it's Garvin Jones over there and the ball ends up with Danny Ward again he's over there and he gives a gives a smart ball back out to Ryan Jones and Ryan looks cross field and he has Aidan McKenna over here and Aidan McKenna and there's a bit of skirmish going on inside here in the goal mile. I don't know if Jared Goller's seen it and Ryan looks up and Ryan goes for one of those booming points and I suppose you know come at the hour come at the man big score vital for Derek Onley two points in front two points in this game at this stage big lead now yeah, I think you can only, you can only mark Ryan Jones down for one of those yeah, booming yeah, kicks yeah. booming scores in every match um, great play patient play and he got himself in a very good position so Ben Lalek will be looking to win this kick out vital for them as we enter the last 10 minutes here and he's managed to pick out Shea Cullen and Shea has Conor McCauley inside him and, but Danny Ward yeah. again Danny Ward a very, very good last five minutes very, 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 well very good Garvin Jones that one has just gone astray but you know but for the interception there Ben Lalek could have been in Cian Connor gives it to Eamon Green and Eamon gives fist pass out there and gives it to Cian Connor and Cian gives it back inside to Fergal Keenan and Ben Lalek will be looking they really need the next score in this game if they're going to have a hope of salvaging something out of it and Just about 10 minutes left in the game now. 
Yeah. 19 and a half minutes gone. In the second half. And Garrett Cavan and Garrett through the hand and probing and moving cross field. And gives him that brain owns and a kick comes in there and this looks a better kick and it was badly needed. And there's a bit of Kane Connor and Shane Ward are having a bit of something has happened over here on the on the far side and it's off the ball. I didn't just didn't pick it up, but un very unusual for Shane Ward to get so irate about something. So something really must have happened over there for and who's who's. Can't see who's down on the ground. I think Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Very good score there. Actually, be uh, yeah, Brian Owens coming Brian, in from the wing. Brian Owens if, coming in from the wing. And if Ben Lacker get or to win this game tonight, I think they need likes of him getting into those scoring positions. They were guilty of uh, some bad missed chances. Sean there. Flanagan now and and getting involved in a bit of pushing here with Ken Connor and really unnecessary scenes here now at the minute. You know whatever has happened over here. Be, be advisable Jared Guller <laughs> and, and Sean Flanagan he's advising Sean maybe to get back to the line there Sean you know out here in the middle and a bit of pushing and a bit of argy bargy and probably scenes we don't want to see definitely not maybe it'd be advisable for somebody there on the Derek Onley bench to Wise words here from our stats man on the left hand side, Sh Mark McGoldrick. Maybe uh, tell the guys to settle it down because there's no need to get involved in this. You know, and I, you know, sometimes games can change on such things. There was eight minutes left in the game, and there's one point in it. And whatever's happened over here on the far side, I don't know. Jared Goller is brandishing I think two yellow cards is all that has come out of that and a bit of confusion over there Niall thoughts did you see anything I didn't I saw nothing Morris <laughs> I saw nothing <laughs> was that after mature reflection Mark's, Mark's having a word in my ear so <laughs> so we're ready to go here again after all the, after all the silliness there and it's uh Still, Derek only lead by a point. That last point by Brian Owen. So I'd say we had a stoppage there at two or three minutes. And we have an interesting last ten minutes after that. We uh, scrummy, so a lot of bit of a bit of space there. So as we look down to our left here, I think it's uh, uh, Stephen McGullion going to come onto the field here. We're number twenty-five. Jared Galler's coming over to the sideline here. Jared Galler is coming over to the sideline to have a wee talk with management here before we restart, and maybe he's going to have a conversation with. Oh, he looks to have a he looks to have a card in his hand, and he's going to. Oh, he's given a red card. He's given a red card to Sean Flanagan. So he sent. He sent Sean Flanagan off here, and unfortunate instance. So, Jared Guller has brandished a red card to to Sean. So, a red card brandished to Derogani manager. Sean Flanagan here uh, and the ball played across here and it's Ryan, Ryan McNulty Ryan McNulty has the ball and he plays it down here and Garrett Kavanagh comes forward and he's placed by Stephen and Garvin Quigley and Garvin looks left and right and he's shadowed here by, Sh by Shane McGullion and it's given to Eamon Green and Eamon gets it back and Derek Onley now putting the squeeze on but Garvin Quigley manages to evade the tackle and moves upfield and he slips a little pass inside and it's given inside there and it squirts out and oh, 
that again, is again I think it's a case of when the player well, goes down for the a player ball, got, you go down you, you're you going to get you get, you get your free it's on, a, a, on a night like that yeah. bravery you're going to get your free at all times those hands in there close to his head yeah. maybe and that's what Jerry Galler probably maybe saw that's what Jerry Galler saw and a chance here for Balnalek to level things up and as we you know, there'd be a good bit of stoppage time I'd say here but there's 25 minutes gone here in Canham Ware Park and Derg only leading by 110 to 25 an incident packed second half so I think it's Brian Owens and not sure he scored two good points from the right hand side here in the first half so you would you'd probably fancy him to, to have a, a good go at this one too well, yeah, but it's more it's a difficult angle. It's for a right difficult foot. for for right footed. Slightly further out, maybe. Then. He's going outside of the boot. He's here. going the outside of the boot, and he chips that one up. And no, oh, it, you know, uh, always good to have a left footed and a right footed yeah. free taker for those situations. Wasn't a bad strike. No, it wasn't a bad. Just, hand, hand just hand yeah, post. just needed to put. A So a free, a free to Dur free to Dur free to Dur Gonley here, and Garvin, Garvin gives it into Ryan McGovern, and Ryan evades the tackle, and he gives it to Connor McGovern, and it's back out with Garvin Jones, and Garvin gives it over to Ronan McHugh, Ronan, Garvin Jones a pop pass inside, and I think it's Gary McKenna in there, yes. Light starting to fade here in Dur Gonley, and it's given back out to to. So Danny Ward that man again on the ball and he gives it to Aidan McKenna who scored a great point in the second half and dangerous to leave this man free Lee Jones and Lee tries to wrap that one round his foot but it didn't go out and it was a dangerous looping ball and it was kept in but Belenelec come out with the ball and it's I think it's Orton McCarney has come out with it Eamon Green is the ball and Duragani looking to pen them in and put that squeeze on and James Spate loses the ball and this time Lee Jones the judge have been fouled and that Derek Only squeeze worked and the ball moved quickly and Danny Ward and he gives a little pop pass inside and Stephen McGullion's inside and we're in 25 gives it back out to Ryan Jones and Aidan McKenna gives it back out Mickey Jones gives it back in to Ryan Jones and Ryan plays it cross Danny Ward got on a mountain of ball in the second half and he's given it over there to Ronan McHugh wearing number 7 on his back so Derek Only keeping possession here and we're into the last five minutes there will be a good bit of injury time and Danny Ward sizes this one up and wouldn't it be unfortunately for him it drifts to the left and wide and maybe not the right option but he was having such a second half I suppose that the confidence was up and he felt he could go for it now yeah. so the ball comes out here and this yeah, time he again, again, but this time he slips and Eamon Green comes up with the ball and Eamon manages to get the ball away and Conor McCauley and Conor manages, but he's surrounded by Derek Only men. He's surrounded by Derek Only men and and things getting a bit heated underneath us here. He was never going to get out of there, I don't think. No, he never men coming on top. The one thing about Derek Only and the way that they've hunted in packs yeah. in the second half and good, close good men down, and Ryan Jones plays it and he plays it in. Shane McGullion with 17 on his back and he's faced by County colleague Garrett Cavan and Garrett shadows him, but Shane cuts inside and he'll be looking to get a shot away here, but he doesn't get a shot away and surrounded by Ben Lelect men. And Probably, probably. It's, you know, it's these calls are all very tight, but Gary McKenna, judge to have been fouled there, he was surrounded by Ben Lelect men and it was hard to know where the hand came in out of. But You probably get away with the pressure and the players standing up and they're sort of leaning down a bit and you, you put the push on, they're going to they're probably earn a free on most occasions. Well, you know, these are the top two teams in the league and they've really served up some great fare here this evening for us and for our viewers and for Manage GA TV. You know, I have to say, for the first game of the year, it's been an excellent spectacle, and you know, we've we've really we've had an incident-packed game here now. Yeah, and great great work by both teams. Determined play by both teams. Even the defence, we've been lacking there, or uh, we've been lacking numbers. Um, two 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 well-conditioned teams as well. It must be said, and I think that you know we'll 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 see maybe more battles between these two teams this year uh, and later on in the championship. Absolutely. Uh, two teams that you would have to say play, have a big say in the latter stages of the championship this year so 
Gary McKenna and Gary Vital Free here to put Derek Lee 2 up as we go into the last couple of minutes. So Gary wraps his foot round this one and over the bar it goes and Mark McGoldrick reliably informs me here that we're into the last minute. I hear somebody say that referee Jared Collard says the 24th minute, but I suppose maybe that's with the the watch stopped. I suppose maybe that's he probably stopped the watch when the, the fracas was taking place over the far side and so there'll be a fair bit of injury time judging by that to be at least five minutes and an intelligent ball out for this man Eamon Green and he flicks it on and Garvin Quigg Garvin doesn't get it up and Eamon Green's along with him and Garvin looks up and he thought about the shot and oh it's what a block there Shane McGullion diving on that ball and Eamon Green and Eamon flicks it into the corner there and gets it again and lifts the ball and I'd say yeah it's going to be a free out good defence by Derek Onley there and it's a free out to Derek Onley and I think Ben Lack again like early in the first half they're going to be disappointed with some of their attacking play there yeah. um, their composure in front of goals just has been lacking a bit in the second half so the ball comes out and Ryan Jones comes out with the ball and Ryan plays it in and Stephen McGullion but oh that maybe the hand on the back there by Lee Cullen you know Again, it was a good battle for the for the ball from both of them. Yeah, um, good battle for the ball. Maybe from both one of the of more them luckier ones. A few calls starting to go Derek Onley's way, and sometimes this can happen in a game. Maybe when and it's a kick. Oh, who kicked? Oh, yeah, it was Garvin. Garvin Jones, and he just couldn't quite wrap his foot around that on the curl it inside that left hand post and drifts out to the left and wide and we're in injury time here there's 31 minutes played but it's it, oh it's at Jared Goller's discretion and this time is chipped over the bar there Ryan McGovern and really I, you know I think that's Ryan's first score but it's just rewards because he's really worked very hard here tonight and it's great to see him get an injury free run and a good run with the Derrick Onley senior team and I think maybe Ben Lech possibly were disappointed with that yeah, one maybe yeah, there's yeah. a pull back there from that kick out that's, that's four points yeah. from so right, the play moving fairly quickly here and Garvin Quigley and Garvin on the attack and he goes one way and he goes the other way and he looks up and he kicks and this one looks yes it's going to curl inside and Benelec really needed that score and it's their first score in, in since the score that came before the fracking so we're two minutes very, very into the time and the ball needed that yeah. score but so it's 15 to 13 here 112 to 27 Derek Onley lead we're deep into injury time and it's at referee Jared Guller's discretion here at how long is left in this game Jack Kelly kicks it out Aidan McKenna gathers this one and takes the mark yeah, McKenna's had a, some Aiden good Ma places came on Aiden as well Aidan McKenna yeah has had good intelligent play football. intelligent play really really good competitive game of football here tonight and, and you know what you could only describe as very very difficult conditions now definitely some really really good play and I suppose uh, on a night like that they expect every skill level to drop a bit but I think a credit to both teams they've, 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 uh, they've played very well for the majority of this game yeah. Ryan Jones and Ryan Luckin get Aidan McKenna on the ball and Aidan slides and he gives that one Gary McKenna and Gary gives it to Ronan McHugh and Ronan gives it inside Stephen Gilroy and back with Ronan McHugh and Ronan for A's forward but drops the ball manages to contain and control and manages to get it out to Aidan McKenna and he's looking for the shot and he goes with the left foot and just doesn't get round and you know it's a two point game here and you would have to say Derek Onley be very worried because you know what happened in injury time at the end of the first half will be very much in their mind it gets away and it goes over the top and it evades everybody And but that man Ryan Jones back defending there and takes a heavy tackle but no free and Garvin Jones back there and gives it out to Lee Lee Jones giving it back to Garvin Garvin moves forward going to be tackled gets it out in the far side you get Stephen Gilroy over on that far side there and gives it back Ryan Jones and gives it over to Ryan McGovern and Ryan with eight in his back and he's surrounded by two Belenelec men 
Gets the ball out here, Rona McHugh isolated all on his own. Good chance to move forward here. Gives a fist pass inside to Lee Jones. And Lee gets it back out to Ryan. And Ryan McGovern wraps his boot round that one. And it's just unfortunate. drifted. Unfortunate for Ryan there. Looked to have done everything right, but it just curled and tailed at the last minute and went out to the left and wide. And Ryan McNulty kicks the ball out. And Banalek badly need possession. Kane Connor has the ball in soccer style. He gives it out to James Spate, and James is fouled. And fouled there by the substitute, I think, yes, by Stephen Mogollion. Yellow card there for Stephen. So it's really at the discretion of referee Jared Guller here of what's left in this game. And two points, two points the difference. There's a lot of people calling for the final whistle here, so I would say the delay is for the incident that happened over on the far side. And I suppose there was a few substitutions. They always say there's 30 seconds for every substitution, so you imagine there's going to be one more attack here for Ben Lalek and no goals. Fergal Keenan moves the ball to Kane Connor and. Kane moves forward and manages to evade Ryan McGovern and gives it and Kane Connor still going and he's dragged down and there's going to I think we know what's coming here there's going to be a ball dropped in well you would have to imagine Niall this is the final attack of this game yeah it's it's um, maybe it's one, one last opportunity for, for Van Lake to get a score here but Derek only have plenty of men back so, yeah. so it's not going to be easy getting something in here so it's a black yard as well black card for who is it Danny, Danny Ward, Ward and Danny Ward Danny who has had an excellent second half here really serious second half so it's logged in and Ryan Jones fists it out and that's the final play of the game and Derek Only Niall just about deserving winners you would have to say on the night here I think in, over the you know, yeah, over the course this of the top of the table clash. Yeah, I think over the course of the game, Derek Only were probably the better team. I think in, in the second half, especially in their attack, they, they took the better options, better options than Ballon Lake probably um, were taken in that second half. And I think that's probably the difference between the teams. You look here at the at the final scoring, Derek Only with 13 scores and Ballon Lake with, with nine. So that's always a, a talent tale as well. Um, but overall, I think just marginally, probably Derek Only deserved it. Um, the number, a lot, a lot of wides there as well. I think there's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten wides there, which, which is a lot. Um, and especially in the first half, that the Larusso and Mary misses, they probably could have been maybe a lot more in this game at the end. Yeah, I mean, the one thing you know that impressed me here tonight was was the skill levels on play, the ball carrying, the ball retention, the score taking. Like you know, one twelve to two seven on a night like this, when conditions you know you, you would have to say are very challenging. It's really a credit to both of this team, both of these teams. And I see you know, Benalek very disappointed here, you know, underneath us, and you know. But I suppose more you you expect that you know two teams at the top of your, your senior division yeah. one, you expect you know high quality play. And there's, there's a lot of good footballers out there, a lot of players with plenty of experience, a lot of very athletic players. Yeah. And um, that, that win now brings Derek Only up to the, well, they're already at the top of the table, but they've now extended. Um, you would have, need. yeah, you would have to say at this stage, looking at the table, Derek Only harps on 14 points, uh, Ben Lalek on 11, Aaron Gales with a game played less on 9, Canali with a game played less on 8. At this stage, you would have to say. Derek Only have really put one foot into the league final here today. It's very hard to not see them being in the league final, and you know, on the evidence of the display here, it'll probably it'll come down to to Ben Alec and either Canali or Aaron Gales, or who's going to be in that league final with them. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a good battle between those teams. But Derek Only definitely look like a, a team that are probably hurting from last year. They'll uh, they look to respond this year in both in both league and and, and championship. Um, but the, the, some very very good displays all over the pitch there, and some of the, some of the younger players really stood up as well. You've, you've uh, Ryan McGovern in the middle, middle of the park with, with, with two points in play. Ryan Jones in alongside him with t two in play as well. So that's always you know a good uh, a good return from your players at, at the pitch. Um, you know the, a lot of scores in play as well on, on, a, on a slippy night like that, which is which is very good. Um, but you know. You, it's some good displays I suppose around the middle of the park as well for kick outs especially from Ben Lilek. Um there was a period there in the start of the second half where they won a lot of breaking ball um, 
was that a kick out going right out to the middle of the park with some big men competing for us um, I think towards the last 10 minutes of the game in particular it was that composure from Derek Onley the support play the, their half backs in particular throughout the home light driving forward your Shane McGullions um, get, getting forward um, for, for two points you have Ronan McHugh getting forward regularly with a point um, so that's always a big help when you're getting scores in your defence Absolutely Danny Ward who got the black card there at the end you know as Derek Onley we see in, in the huddle and you know we know we say the league and all this stuff um, Derek Onley break up we have Ben Lelec deep in there huddled down to our right hand side here you know but uh, that man Danny Ward you know had a massive second half got him, got a lot of brick and ball here behind us and you know you could see the importance of this these, these guys really cared out there Shane, Shane McGullion blocked on a ball here down in the corner you know and I go back to the skill level that was on display here tonight you know as you rightfully said we have a lot of county players here we have a lot of county underage players here and you know a lot of ex-county players here so it, it, it's no doubt that you know the fair served up here tonight you know was, was of an excellent standard so I think we leave it from there as we sign off here in Derrick Onley Derrick Onley winning this game by two points on a scoreline of 112 to 27 so from myself Morris McLaughlin and Niall McElroy a thanks to Phil and Sean here as usual excellent professional job but from on a GEA TV and to all the sponsors who make this possible uh, to bring these games and we look forward to bringing you many more games as we go forward for this season so thanks from Derrick Onley